Welcome back once again, Spazites, to another Monday, Polybag Monday is what I like to call it. And uh, today we have this beautiful little set. My dad, for my birthday, got me a gift card, and uh, this housed the gift card. So you turn it over, it's a Hallmark, it's an actual Hallmark gift card, oh, uh, a Hallmark uh, not sponsored birthday card. It says, get all revved up for birthday fun. And then there's a couple of race cars, which uh, actually are minifigure scale. And I actually thought that this was minifigure scale for a second. But uh, I didn't really write anything in it, which is fine. Not a big deal. <laughs> uh, he, he, he had a, a gift card tucked in here, and that's where he wrote happy birthday and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, he got me a cool little bagged Lego set, which I'm really excited to do. You just uh, tear here, pull easily. Uh, I can't talk. And boom, inside you have a creator poly bag, which I do not have. Um, unfortunately, the... Uh, the actual creator set here does not house a minifigure. It's just a little race car. But it is uh, set number 30572, race car. And we'll have to check this out. I'm going to look and see in my local grocery stores if there are more, if there are different ones of these to get just because it's only uh, eh, $7.99. I guess that's a little more than you normally pay for a... Uh, a bagged set of this size but anyway it's a really cool thing and uh it's a great way to give your loved one a happy birthday lego set so i gotta make sure and put in my uh my brick link my brick set that i own this set so but until then let's go ahead and build this rip it open dump out the contents and make sure nothing rolls off. <laughs> and the bag is empty. I'm going to keep that off to the side so I can make sure and put the imp input the number in later. But let's uh, get my instructions here. Make sure everything is front and center. There are no minifigures, obviously, with this set because it's a micro build that uh, a minifigure can't go in there. So, anyway, let's... Uh, Look at the instructions here. <clears throat> Start with this piece here. Then we gotta find uh, one of our axle pieces. Goes down there. Actually, you're supposed to start with the axle piece, put the little light gray piece on, and then put that piece on. Then flip this over, put four of these on. One, two, three, and uh, where's the fourth one? There it is. Four, and then another axle goes on the front there. And then flip the car back over. Grab this. Take red cheese wedge. Red cheese wedge. And then two... Black studs with a pin on the end. I'm not sure what that's called, but I'm calling it a black stud with a pin on the end. <laughs> so there, you got that. Next, you put two <clears throat> three by two black pieces on the top, holding all that together. After that, you take a couple of these blue pieces like that. The four by ones with only two studs on the on the plate, and then let's see. Next we have a smooth four by one plates on either side. Boom, and then what? That there. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> And then two 4x2 plates. Boom. There we go. Next. Still working on the back of the car here. We want to take this, one of these, and another one of those. Here's the other one. Nope, I put it on wrong. 
clip end over the plate. Boom. And then, uh, like this. There. Woohoo! And that's it for the first side of the instructions. Now we have uh, a bunch more to do. <laughs> we want to find all of our tires. We got four tires. And then uh, four wheels as well. Put those in. It's weird to me that we're uh, building the wheels this early on in the build, but whatever. Those on. Boom. Boom. Now you probably could change this up to make a pretty decent looking go-kart if you really tried. And then make it minifigure compatible. Of course, that's the greatest thing about LEGO is that you can do so much with them. Let's see, we need this. Cheese, long blue cheese wedge. And then two more red cheese wedges pointing the other way. These ones are sloped facing up instead of sloped facing down like the other one. And then that just goes right here. Boom, like that. And then next is take this bad boy here with a blue grate. I've never actually seen this piece in blue before, so that's pretty cool. And then that goes up here like that. Next, we have this cool piece. I love these pieces. And boom. Okay. Then we take uh, one of these, put it right here. Then we do one, two, three, four, five. Six and a seventh one in the center, and then one more little gray two by one plate right there. Next is we got two of these bad boys, another unique color for these that I've never seen before. I'm sure it's not as uncommon as I think, but boom, that goes there, and then got two of these. The other one goes here. And then next we have, what do we have next? We have a three by one that goes back here like that. And then a two by one cheese, black cheese wedge and another black cheese wedge there. Okay, next is a blue single plate smoothie and a sloped blue sloped smoothie and then we have red smoothie red smoothie red angled sloped smoothie and other red angle sloped smoothie of a mirror size a mirror uh image of it yeah yeah, yeah. And then next we have this goes on this. Oh, I forgot a step. Four little silver studs go on these gray spots right here. And then the last step is the spoiler back there like that. And then there is our car. Interesting. Nice little race car. I like it. It's sleek. Looks cool. It's going to look nice on my shelf. And then, boom. These are our extra pieces here. Not too many. All pretty small common pieces. And those will all go in my extra pieces cup. Boom. There we go. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you're not already, please subscribe. It's completely free for you to do and it helps me grow my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as usual, until next time, be kind, happy hunting, and goodbye. Don't forget to wash your hands. And if you go out, please wear a mask. Bye. Vroom, vroom.